Statements by members. Member Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Well, for me, it was the colour purple. My grandmother had a sweatshirt. It was a lovely sweatshirt, bright purple with two ducks on it. It said in neon pink, Vancouver, BC. I told her I thought it was a pretty cool sweatshirt. Well, Honourable Speaker, to my horror, she gave it to me. <laughs> I was in grade five or six. And I say to my horror because part of me wanted so desperately to wear that shirt. But part of me knew that if I wore it to school, I would be called fag or girly boy or any of the other number of names that people use and still use today to try and keep people down, to shame them for who they are. So that sweatshirt sat in a drawer for years and I would open the drawer to get my clothes and it would sit there staring at me, both shaming me for not having the courage to wear what my grandmother gave me, but also reminding me of what I wanted so desperately to wear had the society and the world that I'd been living in in elementary school been more welcoming and a place where you could be all that you can be. So for me, it was purple. For a boy in Nova Scotia, it was pink. And while I didn't have somebody stand up for me at the time, that boy did. Uh, Travis Price, David Shepard, and soon an entire school came together to stand with him for the Day of Pink. A moving day where they united to say diversity in all its wonder is something we value. Where they united to say no to homophobia and toxic masculinity. The idea that pink was somehow feminine and a boy should not be allowed to enjoy pink because that was somehow shameful. So they united to do that, and that sparked change across this entire country and continues to this day. As noted earlier today in the Day of Pink celebrations here in this legislature, that day was 12, 13 years ago, and now an entire cohort of students have gone through the school system celebrating that day, marking that change, thanks to the leadership of those students so many years ago. Thank you, Honourable Speaker.